This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Home Depot pitched in Tuesday to help the Moses Lake Library kick off its summer reading program. Kids are invited to take part in the world's largest swimming lesson Thursday in Afreda. A young Oregon boy is credited for saving the life of his pregnant mother. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News. And it starts now. Home Depot pitched in Tuesday to help the Moses Lake Library kick off its summer reading program. The library was packed with families Tuesday morning for Home Depot's Kids Workshop. As the North Central Regional Library summer reading program got underway this week at all 10 public libraries in Grant County. Children were able to build their own mini toolboxes by hand using a hammer and nails. Participants also had the chance to decorate their creation with stickers provided by Home Depot. Kids can still sign up for the summer reading program at their local library. The theme this year is Build a Better World, with free activities throughout the summer focused on engineering and science, including workshops, STEM experiments, grant PUD programs, and the Pacific Science Center. Prizes are also offered for children who log the most reading hours from toys to book sets, electronics, and entertainment passes. Last year in Grant County alone, more than 3,600 kids participated in the program, logging more than 24,000 hours of reading. A complete schedule of free summer reading programs can be found on our website at ifiber1.com. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. Kids are invited to take part in the world's largest swimming lesson Thursday in Afreda. The free event begins at 10 a.m. at the Splash Zone Pool, located at 780 A Street Southeast. Children and adults of all ages are welcome to participate, and check-in starts at 9.45 a.m. Participants can register at the Splash Zone before the lesson on Thursday, online at afreda.org, or by calling the Parks and Recreation Department at 509-754-4601. The world's largest swimming lesson has become a global event started in 2010 to promote water safety and build awareness about the importance of teaching children how to swim and help prevent drowning. Ifreda has participated in this swim lesson since 2011. According to the organization's website, in 2014, the world's largest swimming lesson set the Guinness World Record for the largest simultaneous swimming lesson conducted at multiple venues with 36,564 participants in 22 countries. More than 195,000 children and adults have taken part in the event in its eight years. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. He's my hero. <laughs> He's totally my hero. June 10th was pizza movie night for Michelle Rizuski and her three boys. Because I'm working and it's easier to kind of kill the time with the kids. So Michelle was getting ready to put pizza in the oven and then she told Connor that she wasn't feeling well. Michelle went to lay down. And then Connor said that um, she fell asleep and she was shaking a little bit. So I think that she had a seizure. From his mom's cell phone, Connor called 911 and got help. And then after that, he called he called me. And then I finally, um, when I, I talked to him, he was really calm, really, really steadfast. He goes, Dad, I had to call 911. Mommy is not okay. You need to leave work immediately. Paramedics rushed Michelle to the hospital. Matter of life and death, yeah. Um, the doctor said, if there would have been a 15 or 20 minute delay that she would have been dead, so. The family learned Michelle has Moya Moya disease, a rare disorder caused by block arteries at the base of the brain. That's, she's my bride. I mean, um, she does so much for this family. Michelle wasn't expected to survive the night. A week later. She can open up her left eye a little bit. She's looking at us. She's giving us a thumbs up. The family is taking one day at a time, supported by friends and loved ones, as Michelle continues treatment at the hospital. But I just feel like um, God has given us that hope and encouragement. So those are the things that we're holding on to right now. And he couldn't be more proud of his son for calling 911. And that's, that's my rock, Connor. Connor is, Connor is a rock through all of this. 
Nice sunny skies this week. From the iFiber One Weather Center, I'm Jeff Slakey taking a look at the basin's forecast. Clear skies for Monday and in the low 90s. Cooling off a little bit as we continue through the week. 88 for Tuesday with clear skies. Low 80s for Wednesday and Thursday. Friday as well, we may see low 80s then start to warm up into the weekend. For iFiber One, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.